Hello everybody, welcome to Zanan Amitindo. Remember we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. And we are starting a new series on fashion and style. And today we have an amazing guest. He is none other than Edu Mwenyewe. At the introduce, he will tell us what he has done. He has he is one of the best fashion designers I know I have worked with, and he is amazing. So Edu Karibu Sana go show. Asante sana. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. First of all, thank you. Yes, Karibu Sana. Thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, I'm happy to be here, of course. Mm -hmm. Nikwe kwa TV ata mimi. Manze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, my name is Edwin uh -huh. Maya uh -huh. Mangeni. Edwin Maya Mangeni. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice, you have a beautiful name. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Kawaida na tumianga Maya Mangeni. Okay. Because they rhyme. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fashion designer mm -hmm. by trade. By trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I make clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, but in school, I've, I've done uh, political science mm -hmm. nice. and philosophy. Oh, so. most of the people would think someone who has done political science and go on a campaign side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I miss that. Yes. But... Uh, Sometimes you have to, uh, to, to have a strategy mm -hmm. and pursue something before you go back to, 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 other, to other goals okay. or okay. to other ambitions. Yes. You know, normally we usually have different things. Mm -hmm. For you to live a fulfilled life, yes. you do different things yes. that all together will come and uh, make the life fulfilling. So for me, I have that political side, but I also have this entrepreneurial side. Mm -hmm. So for now, I'm concentrating more on, the, my, on, the, on my entrepreneurial uh, desires and goals and okay. ambitions. Nice. So once they pick up and all that, who knows, maybe we can consider... Uh, Joining politics. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, time will tell. Time will tell. And yeah, also God's plans. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are so excited to have you. One yeah. more time, I have to repeat that. Yeah. Because I, I have seen your work. We have we will be showcasing some of the photos of yeah. the work you have done. And yeah. you are an amazing designer. That's one thing Thank I you. know. Asante. Yes. So maybe you can you can tell us where did Edu grow up? Did you always have this in you? But yeah. you can tell us first <laughs> where you went for primary yeah. and then high school and then yeah. Campus. Okay. Yes. Uh, me, I was. Uh, I come from Busia. Busia. Busia okay. County. Mm. Uh, it is in a former Western Province. Yes. Uh, former Western Province, which is pro predominantly inhabited by Luya people. Uh -huh. uh, Matayos constituency. Matayos constituency. Yes. Mm. And a word called Mayenge. Mayenge word. My angel ward. Yes. Nice. <laughs> uh, Shule, the okay. primary school I went to is yes. called uh, My Angel. Oh, My Angel Primary. Yes, mm -hmm. My Angel Primary School. Nice. Pure Box 548. Hey, I mean, <laughs> 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 yeah. And nice. Then, and then I went to Bungoma High School, uh -huh. uh, where I cleared and later on joined Kenyatta University. Okay. Where I even met you. Yes. Yes, so that is uh, uh, that's why it's cool. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how was how was life in campus, uh, and how did you transition now from political science into yes. fashion and design? So while uh, growing up, mm -hmm. uh, normally people tend to have uh, diverse interests. Mm -hmm. So one of my interests was in the line of politics and philosophy mm -hmm. and governance. Mm -hmm. That's why I enrolled for the political science course at KU. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the course of studying, I was still restless 
I felt uh, there's something else I can do. Oh. You know, as students, uh, campus students, they tend to have a lot of time in their hands. Yes. Because you can have even one class a day. Mm -hmm. Some days you don't have a class. Mm -hmm. So I had the, uh, the burden of trying out something, yes. utilizing my other strengths. Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't have somewhere to start, mm -hmm. or I didn't know how I'll start the my business ambitions so i happened to meet someone who is a, i can say is a family friend oh, a family. back in busia okay but he had relocated and was living and he lives here in thika okay and he's doing he was into the tailoring business and mm -hmm. fashion okay and stuff he's called Denis Sonyango. Denis Sonyango. actually we'll be yes. hosting him here soon yes <laughs> you yeah. need to yes. yeah he's the one who mentored me mm -hmm. uh he because he's a family friend mm -hmm. he was willing to mentor me into it oh, nice. uh i had never thought of doing fashion mm -hmm. or doing tailoring mm -hmm. but uh, i consider myself quite flexible yes so what I really wanted was something that will take me into the entrepreneurial field. Okay. So it happened to be fashion, mm -hmm. to be tailoring. Mm -hmm. So I just took up the challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as they say, the rest is history. Yes. I've made a lot of advances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many years now in fashion and style? Uh, I think I started around 2018. 2018, 2018. So for the mathematicians, <laughs> there is a <laughs> 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 uh -huh. about four and a half years now. Four and a half years now. Yeah. And your work is exemplary. Yeah. I have loved your work. Yes. So we, you have talked about where you went to primary, where you went to campus, and now yeah. how your interest developed yeah. uh, into fashion. Yeah. Apart from. Uh, Mr. Dennis, yes. do you have other people who you have look who you look up to in the fashion and style industry? Uh, 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 I have role models, uh -huh. uh, people I admire, okay. but they're not necessarily in the fashion industry. Okay. Uh, just as I've said, mm. for me, the primary motive was not really the fashion. Mm. It was the business aspect. Mm. Uh, I consider myself more of a, more of a businessman. Mm. So, and I can, so the people I admire, mm. uh, for example, somebody like James Mwangi of Equity. Oh, nice. I've read a little of his biography, mm -hmm. and the way he started from little background, he has built something massive, mm. and he's also giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. Apart from uh, uh, giving, uh, helping us, okay. banking, mm -hmm. with banking, mm -hmm. He's also giving back to the community through Wings to Fly program. Mm -hmm. Then also there's another one called George Ashuri mm -hmm. of Optive and it's a real estate company. Yes. He's also, he also came from scratch, mm -hmm. from grass to grace. Wow. He's also doing well. Mm -hmm. So those are uh, people who inspire me. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not necessarily into fashion, but you know, so for me, I'm... More you were looking up to them yes. because you were more into the entrepreneurial side of yes, fashion. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So uh, as much as uh, they, they, I, I love the entrepreneurial bit, yeah. but would you just, let me just take you back, Kidogo. Yeah. Just tell us, what, what would you say it takes for one to be a good fashion and designer? Uh, because I know there are so many people who have, uh, let me say, basic skills, yeah. but they don't know how to articulate and create the excellence. Yeah. Eh, kuna tunajua mashida na mafundi. Yeah. Kuna unapea mtu pesa. Kama juzi, by the way, kuna mtu mungine nili jaribu kuongelesha. Yeah. But you pay them and they are not ready to, or maybe they don't even deliver yeah. to your expectation. Yeah. What would you say it takes for one to be a good yeah. fashion and style expert? Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, first of all, is to demystify the notion that mm -hmm. fashion design or tailoring mm -hmm. is for the people who have, who have not done so well in academics. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we have left most of the tailoring to people who, who uh, society doesn't consider so sharp. Eh? I get you. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big uh, industry. Mm -hmm that needs brains yes and uh, what i can say makes somebody a great designer mm -hmm. 
first of all, of course, is that natural uh, uh, talent. The natural yeah. talent. Uh, you need to be artistic. Uh -huh. But also important is uh -huh. the willingness to learn. The willingness to learn. And then once you learn the art, the skill, uh -huh. you also need to master the uh, uh, communication skills uh -huh. uh, and uh, customer satisfaction. Communication skills. Customer satisfaction. Yes, mm. and even the basic things uh, like keeping time. Mm -hmm. Let's say you agree on a, a certain work, mm -hmm. you try to keep to go with the timeline, mm. uh, not the common narrative. Manasemanga ati fundi mzuri tu ni wa baba. So we are trying to check. You try. Uh, you you just be professional. Yes. The thing is, if you are taken it as a profession, uh -huh. then you need to be serious with it mm -hmm. and you show it in how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. That will make you a good designer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. The other question, what would you say cuts you out from the rest of the designers? There are so many. Yeah. What is that it thing about your fashion house? Oh, Alafu, mm -hmm. you have not mentioned the name of your fashion house. You can just mention it uh, as we get to talk more about it. So what would you say is the, is the it thing yeah. about your fashion house? Uh, my fashion house is called Vama Valma. Mm -hmm. uh, the slogan mm -hmm. or the motto yes. uh, is uh, uh, be outstanding. Be outstanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think even that goes to the question you have asked. Yes. Uh, what cuts you out? What mm. cuts me out? Mm. What makes me outstanding? Mm. Uh, one is the quality. The quality of the work. Mm. Uh, there are, for example, mm. there are weddings uh, you do, mm -hmm. and then you you get half of the people mm. are doing their job uh, at another tailor, mm. another tailor, mm. and then half of the team mm. brings close to you. Then you do, uh, after you have done, mm -hmm. when they have their wedding, mm -hmm. later on you receive reports mm -hmm. that my outfits outstood the rest. Mm -hmm. So I can say paying attention to the details. Paying attention to details. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, paying attention to details and just as I was saying, mm -hmm. delivering on time. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, 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 Making sure even things like fabric, mm. uh, you go for the best. Mm. Uh, actually, when I uh, I talk to clients, when I agreeing let's say on price, yes, I give them the options. Mm. I tell them there is a higher quality fabric, for example. Yes, and most people, uh, so long as you promise something good, good mm. quality, mm. they're willing even to pay a little bit more. Mm. So uh, I can say, uh, just the dis the discipline mm -hmm. to give the customer the best mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yep okay there are so many young people out here when you yeah. mesema uh, you are encompassed but you felt there was so much time yeah. and you could uh, use that time to be able to learn a different craft yeah so uh what would you advise maybe some young guys we have so many young guys in campus when you yeah. graduate i love realize wow yeah what uh, or you expect maybe to be employed or to be absorbed in your uh, Kenya Mesomea and stuff. Yeah. But you, you went ahead to learn a new skill and it has allowed you to enter into the marketplace. Yeah. So what would you advise maybe young people in your Kopale campus? Now maybe they have so much time on their end yeah. and they don't know even how to go about their time. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, for me, one thing I consider important mm. is being flexible. Mm. Uh, don't be so tired. Mm. People talk of uh, doing what I love. Mm. Sometimes you can try out new ventures. Mm. Uh, they, they help you mm. to build you in mm. terms of uh, exp get, gaining experience. Mm. You can even uh, do a job, not necessarily that you love it, mm. but because you are gaining experience, you are gaining skills, mm. you are getting a new, new perspective. Mm. So... I'll challenge the young people, mm -hmm. like the students, mm -hmm. to be open-minded, mm -hmm. not to be fixated on certain one area, okay. but to take any available opportunity mm -hmm. and utilize it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's a concept I, I 
I believe in mm -hmm. of uh, delayed gratification mm -hmm. where uh, you do something mm -hmm. uh, as you go about with your lifestyle mm -hmm. you try to make sacrifices mm -hmm. for the greater good that will come in future yes uh, the challenge with the young people is that they want or rather human beings generally the way we are wired mm -hmm. is we want to have the pleasure now mm -hmm. we want to enjoy now mm -hmm. without considering the implications in the future yes we want to live in the moment mm -hmm. but if you can develop that mindset mm -hmm. of uh, there's always a greater reward mm -hmm. if you give in if you sacrifice now mm -hmm then uh, you'll be able to make better decisions mm -hmm. such that it's not just about maybe partying or uh, hanging out mm -hmm. but you take up uh, more uh, you 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 take up the sacrifices and mm -hmm. you put in the work mm -hmm. that will guarantee your your future mm -hmm. uh, it'll give you a better future mm -hmm. yes so i'll just challenge young people mm -hmm to be flexible, yes. take up the opportunities that come, mm -hmm. and make the necessary sacrifices. Mm -hmm. uh, they should not just look at today. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I started from, uh, from scratch, mm -hmm. uh, from the struggles that, uh, that come with uh, starting from nothing. Yes. Uh, sometimes you may want to live large, mm -hmm. but because you know where you want to go, yes. you make the sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Instead of buying maybe an expensive sofa set, mm -hmm. you save the money and buy a machine. Yes. You invest. Mm -hmm. That machine, over time, will give you even many sofa sets. Yes. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit of Kidogo. Yeah. So what, what would you say is uh, a thing or something you did yeah. while rendering your services or maybe yeah. an outfit you did yeah. that... Uh, was quite a moment that it gave you a moment that was a bit inspiring. Okay, yeah. I don't know whether I put the question together, Vizuri. Yeah. Uh, you did an outfit maybe for a client, and you can never forget how it made you feel. Yeah. You either got inspired, yeah. either got embarrassed, yeah. either got excited, or maybe yeah. your client aliamua, eh, hey, uja mama mfanya kazi fiti, what an yongeze yata pesa. So what is that moment for you? in the four years you have been in the fashion and style industry? Uh, I can say uh, there are many. There are many. There are many uh, moments. Nice. Es especially uh, doing work for uh, big, big clients. Big you clients. Know, you you know, can mention you, the big you, names. <laughs> you, you know, usually we get excited uh, when we meet celebrities and all that. Yes. So... Ebu a mention. Uneza mention. Working with... Mr. Seed. Yes. We've done an outfit for Mr. Seed. Yes. Yes. I made some, out I made some outfits for him. Uh -huh. Even the his album launch uh, I think it was last year or uh -huh. early this year uh -huh. uh, Jilo Jamwaka of yes, uh, Ramogi yes uh, Barak Muluka uh -huh. uh, the political analyst uh -huh. uh, Lydia Chode uh -huh. yes it's Lydia Chode nice. uh, Supreme Court judge uh -huh. Uh, I've made many others, even Wamaju. Wamaju. If you make clothes <laughs> and you say the, uh, these are American clients, international, uh, yes, international Diaspora. clients, uh, yeah, you nice. feel good. Yes. So those are the special moments. Yes. But also, one of the f uh, also the first tender mm. when you get an opportunity to make clothes for many people many people uh, there's a church there's a clothes i made for church uh, church i think it was sitam church mm -hmm. uh for the praise and worship team mm -hmm. it was one one of my fa very first uh, jobs okay and uh, it really i got excited mm -hmm. it made me realize that kumbe this is what i can do yes, this is yes. my space yes mm -hmm. So I think those are the good moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We yeah. can wrap up with this. What keeps you going? What, what keeps, keeps you going? going? Yeah. I think it's the this, what keeps me going mm -hmm. uh, is, a, is an interesting question. Mm -hmm. I think it is a, uh, one, I think there's that general desire to serve humanity, to serve people. Mm -hmm. 
So I feel like it's an important, uh, clothing is an important area. Yes. Uh, it's a basic thing, mm -hmm. but it's also important for aesthetic, for beauty. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, making people smart mm -hmm. is something, something that keeps me going. Mm -hmm. But also too, I can say personal ambitions. Personal ambitions. Uh, wanting to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, as we grow old, mm -hmm. we want to feel self-actualized, self-fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it has uh, uh, that understanding mm -hmm. or that, uh, yeah, that I'm, I'm achieving my dreams, I'm yes. achieving my goals, mm -hmm. I'm building my profession, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm building a brand, mm -hmm. and hopefully I'll leave a legacy. Yes. Uh, it keeps me going. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Wacha to wrap up so naona director wangu yeah. akinitupia macho so yeah. let's wrap this up with this yeah. pop quiz. Pop quiz are very simple questions. Yeah. Basic questions about you. Yeah. So uh, number 1, are you ready? Yes, I'm are ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Number 1, what is your favorite food? <laughs> favorite food. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think by default yeah. from where I come from. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ugali and chicken. Yeah, ugali and chicken yes, by default. Yes, uh, uh, anytime. Uh -huh. But Pia liver, mine Pia, I enjoy it. Oh, nice. Yeah, so. Naugali Bajo. Uh, Naugali. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Question number two Who is your favorite gospel artist in yeah. Kenya or beyond Kenya? Uh, favorite gospel artist yeah. uh, as a youth man, uh -huh. Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel? Time. Yes. The one and only Guardian Angel. Yes. Number three. Also, I have another one. You have another one. Isaac Barak. Isaac Barak. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So if you get mentioned, thank you so much. That yeah. is really a big yes, one. Yes, you get medari. Why do I watch you? I watch you. Sour, sour. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. A favorite mobile phone application. You know, not to me a son. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, What's up main for communicating with my clients? Uh -huh. uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, research, uh, listening to business speakers, mm -hmm. uh, 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 learning new skills okay. to do with fashion. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of content there, mm -hmm. but also looking for designs on Pinterest and okay. all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I can say those three. Those three are perfect. Yeah. Okay, favorite hobby. Is there any other thing that you love doing? What I love, what I love doing. See, apart from fashion, <laughs> yes, and yeah. uh, food. Yeah. Uh, what else do you love doing? An activity, maybe, uh, or something that you love doing? Uh, I can say cooking. Cooking. Yeah. Okay. I enjoy oh, cooking. You're, I'm. You're nice to testify. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not like a perfect, perfect cook, yeah. but I enjoy doing it. You enjoy doing it. Uh, and socializing. And socializing with Meet, other people. Yeah. Yes. Uh, friends, family. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Number five, favorite book. Favorite book. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe the Google. last book you read. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Google is my <laughs> book. Google in a right share to guys. Sour, sour. Yeah. the next. Yeah. Favorite pet. And have you ever had a pet? Uh, I've never had a pet. <laughs> oh, we used to have a cat at home. Uh, but yeah. it was not really for as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> you know the work of cats in Africa. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, and then I had a, an awkward experience. Uh -huh. You know, we don't, uh, yeah, like in the village, uh -huh. we don't give uh, cats food. So, Why? Because we expect it to get the rats and all that. <laughs> so, what the rat used to do, it used to get our food, steal, steal our food. The cat. Yeah, so you wow. you beat it. So, that was so be sad. because of that, I grew up hating uh, cats and pets in general. Because they they feel like they have a tendency to Yes, yes, yes. So man, that is really sad. So okay. so I'm not a pet person, uh, but I'm willing to learn you're willing in, in to future learn. in to, future to learn to love. At least we got an akachiwawa. Yeah, chiwawa kidogo. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. So basically, what what would be your parting shot? Uh, to memorize a pop quiz, what would be a parting shot? Maybe there is someone out there. Uh, yes. Maybe you want to just say something yeah. and leave them with something. There is so much wisdom in you, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You and your English, yeah. I, okay. uh, it's really good. So uh, you can give us your parting shot. Uh, maybe just such uh, an encouragement yes. or a challenge to my fellow youths. Yes. 
just as I mentioned earlier yes. uh, in the show, mm -hmm. is the issue of uh, uh, mastering our impulse or our desires. Mm -hmm. uh, I told you I did philosophy. Yes. There's a guy who's called Sigmund Freud, mm -hmm. he, a philosopher. He talked of the pleasure principle. Mm -hmm. The we, human beings, you are naturally driven to get pleasure and uh, minimize pain. Mm -hmm. But life the way it is, mm -hmm. you have to go through pain mm -hmm. uh, before you get the pleasure. Mm -hmm. So let us not go for the instant gratification, mm -hmm. instant pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, let's learn to be patient, mm -hmm. to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to enjoy everything now. Mm -hmm. You make the sacrifices, you will enjoy even much more mm -hmm. in future. Yes. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's that was it. a lot of wisdom. That's Thank it. you so much for coming to the show. That's so, it. if people want to be designed and to be dressed by you, as far as fashion is concerned, yeah. where can we find you on social media? Uh, I'm on Instagram. Uh -huh. uh, Vama Valma. Vama Valma. Yes. Yes. V A M A. Uh -huh. Then V A L M A. Vama Valma. Uh -huh. um, on Facebook. Yes. Uh, yes, also on Facebook. Where can we find you on Facebook? Uh, I just use my personal account, Edwin Meyer. Edwin Meyer. Uh, I don't know if I can give my phone number. You can give your phone number, yes. 0727-158-276. Again, you can just say 0727-158-276 anytime even midnight okay yes. nice nice thank you so much for coming to the show Asante. i am so very excited to ha having hosted thank you. you here uh, and i i didn't mention that he's the one who has dressed me yes he's actually the one who dresses me yeah and i had to start with you thank you so much edu Asante. you are doing an amazing job and i wish you all the best in the next five years to to invite tena i believe by then to a big empire as far as uh, the industry is concerned. Sure, sure. Thank you so kuba. much. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So that was all from us here at Sanana Mitindo. We had the amazing Edu. I mean, he has even organized a fashion show. So make sure you follow him on his social media accounts. There is so much they, he, that he does and he's one of the best we have in the nation of Kenya. So for now, uh, to now prepare for another amazing guest in the next episode, you can't afford to miss this series on fashion and style with me, Isaac Varek. For now, adios to Onani Badan.